Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about lint mass absorption techniques versus diaphragmatic. Now you know we sponsor and, and use diaphragmatic absorption constantly because it's per square foot the most powerful. Yes, it's heavy. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get a lot more performance. So we can see in this graphic, the person wanted to mix lint mass and diaphragmatic. But look at the size of the room. Now, it's not to scale, but it is proportionally correct. It's very, very small. Lint mass material is a material that's not really designed to handle a lot of pressure. It's lightweight. You know, some examples, that Roxel stuff, everybody talks about, DuPont. Um, all that's a lint mass kind of material. It's not high density material. It's limp, so to speak. So that's where it gets its word. So the bottom line here is we have to use the appropriate technology to deal with the room size, volume, and usage issues that we have. And diaphragmatic has the most horsepower. So since we don't have a lot of space to treat anyway, we want to make sure we're using the most powerful absorber that we can. And diaphragmatic, we all know from my past videos, we have Hemholtz, Membrane, and diaphragmatic. And of those three, diaphragmatic is the most powerful. So if our space is limited, and we have big problems because we have small space, then we have to bring in you know, as much horsepower as we can per square foot. Some lint mass materials, you know, we might just get 0.5 dB attenuation above 100 cycles for every 10 square feet. With our diaphragmatic absorption technology, you can get 2 dB of attenuation for every 10 square feet. So that's four times as much in the same square footage requirement. So always try to look at the situation in which you're trying to treat and get as much horsepower as you can in it. Lint mass never has enough horsepower, and most of these building insulations and materials in the marketplace have terrible rates and levels of absorption for middle and high frequencies, which is really their application. So be very, very careful with them. You know that I don't like them because I don't like what they do to the uh, mid, mid frequencies, especially voice. We don't use them. We have our own proprietary foam technology that I developed as a result of being dissatisfied with all this other stuff, which I bought and tested, by the way, and only about 10 to 15 percent worked as advertised. That's why I created my own. So call me crazy, but that's what I did. And, you know, everybody seems to like what we've created. So small rooms, we need lots of horsepower, especially in the low end. We don't have a lot of space, so make sure you choose the right technology to do the job. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.